Alright guys, hi, I'm not gonna be on long today, um... Got some weird noises behind me, because my cat is... dressed up, and he does not like it. Anyway! <laughs> so it is, uh, last day of Drawloween. Ha, hi, it's me, I'm here! Okay. Last day of Drawloween. Uh, it is an adventure. I'm gonna keep it short. Uh, I've got some events to run starting at about noon, I think. Live a live event for the Archive of Sinner thing, so I want to change my interface and everything before then too. But I figure I'm going to just sit here and draw anyway, so I might as well stream a little bit. I'm just gonna do a quickie thing for this. I got the pose and everything. Um, not even doing faces and doing back views. So anyways, adventure, adventure. So it's gonna be Turo and Radolf to end it. Um, I still wanna kinda do a Halloween art today, but I almost definitely will not be streaming that, so. But yeah, if you guys are around later, uh, be sure to, when you're on my stream, be sure to check out stuff. We've got a bunch of really cool events running for Archivist Sinners. If you follow my uh, author page on Facebook, it links to them and they're all pretty it links to the event if not look up how you know look up Sanzaki Kojika author on Facebook uh, a lot of the events have already started uh, most of them run for a decently long time so you know they run like all day but the scavenger hunt only runs until noon I got a very aesthetic entry already which is pretty cool We basically are just supposed to be looking for like things that represent things in the book. I'm really good at describing things, aren't I? Ha ha ha. I am actually dressed up as TV today. I have the gloves off right now because, you know, trying to, uh, do stuff with gloves is a little thing. I will be dressed as to be for most of the author events today too, because it's Halloween, so I wanted to dress up. Nothing to do with my books, but you know. I just want to be pretty sometimes. Anyways, let's see. What other events? Um, so the first thing is a live QA with yours truly, where you guys can like ask me questions about the books and the writing process and just, you know, general things, I don't know, whatever question people normally want to want ask. You can do it. I've got some preset questions or a list of questions I'll be answering as well for if, in case I don't get anybody on during that time. So it won't just be me sitting there. Um, if nobody comes on, I may cut it short, but I want to eat lunch at some point too. Then there's also a character Q&A where I have cosplayers dressed up as some of the characters answering questions. Uh, I have Pretty, Very, and Ken, which for those of you not familiar with the book series, Very is the main character. He is a psychic uh, detective. Well, he's a psych he basically is a detective who is a psychic and slowly realizes that becomes a useful kind of thing. And I'm not talking like read mind psychic. Oh, hi. Thank you for showing up, Ranafe. I still need to finish The Mandalorian. I was watching it with too much Wong, but he decided, uh, I don't know, he just didn't seem to get into it. I want to watch the rest of it though. I definitely haven't seen all first season, so why did you watch it second? Right, let's see, so that's that pose. Uh, and then, so character Q&A, um, yeah, so like I was saying, uh, Vary is a psychic detective, a, a psychic one kind of control his powers while he works as a private detective. Um, Preeti is the first of the other characters mentioned to come in, and she is a succubus who ends up, um, when the one of the early cases where Vary starts really learning about his psychic powers, aka book one, uh, he meets Pretty when he's hired to locate uh, a missing man who ended up 
Well, she's looking for her sister, so she kind of works with him to find her sister. And then, um... Uh, Ken. That was the last guy. I was like, who else is there? Yeah, Ken. Sorry. Ken is one of my favorites, and I forgot. So, Ken is a, uh, well, he was a normal college kid that they were hired to follow because his girlfriend thought he was che he was cheating on her, but it turns out he's just a werewolf. <laughs> he got bitten while on a walk and became a werewolf and wasn't quite sure how to handle things, so he was kind of laying low and avoiding her and, you know, being secretive and well, you know, that's never a good thing. Don't do that. Even if you become a werewolf. So, yeah. He ends up, after everything happens, uh, his relationship sours with her. And he ends up working with Kane Investigations a lot. And in the most recent book, just officially kind of became a member. Before that, he just kind of hovered around and was there. But having, you know, a werewolf on your side is pretty useful. So you'll be able to ask them like questions and you know get answers from the cosplayers they will be in character as best as they are able considering um, two of the three cosplayers are not super familiar with the books one of them has some knowledge the preeti cosplayer knows a little bit about preeti so she won't be totally out of it the very cosplayer knows a lot so he'll be fine um the ken cosplayer knows very little but you know we'll make it work it's a volunteer base of things. So I appreciate all the help. I didn't actually finish the short story that I was doing, but I, with the amount I have written, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do an hour because there will also be a live reading of a new story originally for that, um, for the series. You know, a haunted story. Uh, it hasn't been edited or anything yet either, so it's like it's going to be a little rough, but uh, we'll see. Hopefully everyone enjoys it. I'm having fun writing it. I just, I have just been so b busy dealing with all the car stuff. Wow, I just made his like legs way too short. And then there's also a uh, live, let's talk about the lore stuff later in the day. Like right at our night, which has no actual like schedule as far as time because I'll basically, you know, run it as long as people are and already feel like talking. It's going to probably be at least half hour, but I figured if nobody's really on, I'll probably cut early and uh, leave it because that one's later at night. Yeah, I think that's it for all the live events, so. Sorry, Arata is making noises again. He is dressed as Zenitsu today from Kimetsu no Yaiba and not loving it. As the good owner I am, it is not stopping me. He's actually better about it now, though. He's been wearing it for a while and he actually moved downstairs and stuff, so. Alright, so Turl and Redolf are these two. Let's go ahead. Like I said, I was purposely not really putting... I'm dyslexic, so I actually have to look up references to see which side is which. Sorry, guys. Oh, 
with the reverse like this, it's very hard. I'm a little sleepy. I got up at like eight. I didn't really, I got up, read a little bit for like 10 minutes and then came down, got ready. I'm in costume, been in costume for a long time. Well, by today. Cat is not happy. Thump, thump, thump. The feathers in this hurt so bad. Oh. I can't wait till I actually finish the version I'm making myself because I won't eat the stupid feathers like this. They literally just glued feathers in. I have most of the fabric for 2B, so I can actually work on that, considering I don't have any money right now, but that's why I really haven't done any cosplay work. I also kind of got unmotivated for a while, but I think when this is over and everything, um, I'll be able to do some more stuff. I know I've also been asking people online uh, what additional stuff I should add to my Patreon. Um, I've kind of got as per usual, really mixed responses. So I'm not quite sure what I'll be adding, but I think I might end up adding um, like physical prices, like uh, every month send some bookmarks out to tiers like $10 and above. Possibly even start at the $3 tier, I'm not sure yet. I'll, I'll talk to my HR manager. No, I'll just, I always talk to my mother about stuff like this or a uh, cosplay kit and figure out what's the best. biggest thing is I don't really have time to draw too much more stuff uh, unless all I was doing was Patreon but I'm not making enough money for that yet as you see I really want you to follow me though I'm behind on a stock from Patreon for last month, but I will uh, be going into gear on that pretty much after this, so. I did feel kind of bad, or, well, I don't know if I felt, yeah, I guess I did feel kind of bad. So the person who won the chibi last month also won the chibi this, for this month, and I still haven't even finished their chibi, but he's pretty good about it, so. I've just been, like, beyond stressed with all this car stuff going on. Wow, I really made him have thick thighs. That's what looks wrong. He's thick. But off, you're not that thick. If I don't finish this by 11.30, I'm still probably gonna get off because I wanna get ready for the other thing. So yeah, just heads up. Busy day today. What do I want for lunch today? Oh, Turl looks freaking weird from the back. Just so you guys know. You'll get to see it in a second. Considering, you know, his cape covers 90 I just didn't even think about that. His cape covers 90% of him. I did my first escape room in a while on Thursday. Uh, we wore gloves and masks and sanitized and scrubbed stuff down and everything. So it was fun though. It was for uh, 
friend, a really good friend's birthday. Uh, he's been having some rough times, so we threw a little party with just a few of us. Uh, did an escape room, ate cake at our house. And by a few, I mean literally with five of us. <laughs> After that, I kind of feel like I want to do one for my birthday now. My birthday's in November. It's coming up pretty soon. Go ahead and start inking. So I'm wearing headphones on top of my wig. It's a little weird. I've also got the headband on for TV too, so oh, my ears are itching. have any particularly exciting plans for Halloween today. Um, one is closer to trick-or-treating time. I have a bowl of candy to put out and a thing of hand sanitizer and I'm sticking it outside my door and that's that. My older sister is coming over, cosplaying kitten. Another friend is coming over in a little bit after that. Uh, that's about it, though. Probably watch uh, Too Much Wong scream and play some horror games. Plus, running the Ark of the Sinner stuff, so. Maybe get caught up in some stuff, play some games. I don't know. We'll see. Now, good boy. He did his little chill meow. He's getting used to wearing the costume. I am going to force him to wear it most of the day because I really like that. Hmm. So, out of all these Dralloweens I did uh, this year, I'm not 
sure which one I'd say was my favorite. Um, but hmm. I think I liked bonds a lot and uh, camaraderie. Yeah, I like the shippy pictures. But it also was just the way they came out. Pretty happy too because one of my friends messaged me yesterday to tell me that she saw she's like wow you really are improving with these newtober stuff and i was like yay thank you makes me very happy so i use these challenges like this to uh basically get better at stuff and like you know improve my art so i'm always purposely like picking poses and stuff that i wouldn't normally do um also drawing characters that i haven't drawn in a while or at all considering how many this is the first one that wasn't a novel themed one it was a graphic novel themed one but it's been years since I've drawn another tracer and even if they are characters I draw a lot you know I'm just drawing them in different poses and different situations so it's it gives me a lot of practice and I'm purposely trying to use it for that I don't really have a lot of free time so it's hard often for me to just sit down and work on stuff like anatomy but I do know I need to I'm by far not a perfect artist but I learn all the time and that's all that really matters It really makes me happy though when others notice the improvement too. Whenever I'm feeling like I'm unsure if I'm improved, I just look back at those kiosks from like a year before and it's like, yeah, there's improvement. It's not always super major, but there is always something. Looking from volume one to volume, well, 13 is the next, is the one that I'm finishing up right now. It's like, wow, damn. I definitely. And that's always really cool. Honestly, if you ever have time I and you want to do art, I definitely recommend doing like challenges like this. They're really good for uh, keeping yourself in habit and, you know, sometimes you just need to draw every day. And this, you know, kind of forces you to because I don't want to say it's like a requirement because that's a weird way of saying that, you know what I mean. It's a goal. Maybe that's better. And I I always use custom prompts, but there are plenty out there that you can just, you know, use. Just make sure you credit them correctly. Ranafe has a fun elf one. Which I honestly would love to try, but I also like, I'm just so stuck with, uh, I want to do stuff with my original characters. And I don't actually have that many elf characters. Which is funny. I guess I should say I don't actually have like a series full of just elves. I have a few elf characters. Most of them not associated with anything in particular. Although the Fall of the Dragon trilogy has several. Fawn, F-A-U-N, is one of the main characters, although that's not her real name. And then um, later on you meet some more too in book three. I'm watching my cat, he's so cute. Honestly, I'm basically talking to myself, so this is keeping me entertained. Alright, let's see what else I can talk about. <gasps> Hi, Arana! Hi, baby boy! I don't know where I'm going.
cat is undecided. What an asshole. He won't come to me. I am the one who put him in the outfit, so I can't say too much. Ugh. I actually want to do some cute and spoopy meals today for one. I have my two friends over, but well, his cosplaying kitten and my other friend, but I was like, nah, I'm too tired. I might see if cosplaying kitten wants to make pretzels with me. I've been wanting to make these pretzels, and I'm just. I was gonna try to make them on Friday, and then I had to take my car back in, so that kind of killed that. actually checked what the policies were for trick-or-treating in my area. I should probably do that at some point. I know when I was talking to some of my students earlier this week and last week, uh, they're still planning on trick-or-treating, so I'm like, oh. I'm guessing places are still allowing it. <gasps> are you in the chair, baby? Hi! Now he came closer to me. Aw, how sweet. Yeah, nice. I'm making some good time up. It helped that I looked up all the reference and stuff. I've actually been up for a while. I just I'm trying to get some stuff straightened up and check on the uh, archive event. There hasn't been too much movement on it yet, which isn't surprising. It's early and a lot of it started at like, you know, bedtime for people. I'm having like flashbacks. I think I talked to, about this prompt with uh, people in a Discord group at some point. We were talking about like what to do with it or whatever. At least I get that opinion or that feeling. Yeah, if you guys join uh, Cosplay and Kitten Discord, I'm pretty active in there.
this is the line art board at least. I actually am going to try to put a little more shading in this one specifically because I want to try this effect. I don't know how well it will work, but we'll see. So I'm going to be using a lot of grays here. Because I still have Turl's skin to do and blacks in here too. Okay, getting you my cokes. I do a Halloween art this year. It will probably be one of my band arts from uh, Lunai Library and uh, just yes. Highly, probably. Nyoga, who is one of my faves. If not my fave. He's a good boy. I've been just working with him a lot, so. If you guys haven't read the latest chapter of Zuskia, it just finished, so... Well, I guess I should say it finishes this week, so... Let's do Dark, I think, actually. even actually really need to put this piece of paper over. This is the last picture that will ever be in the sketchbook. Yeah, isn't it? There's still a couple pages left, but not enough to do another drawing. And honestly, this is like one of the worst books I could have picked for it just because it's so, as you've seen how many times I get stuck in like this little awkward corner. Yeah, this one majorly needs to be refilled. I'm just being lazy. Also needs to be refilled. Okay, I'm not getting by without refilling. Got it, got it, got it. Ah, yabba, yabba, yabba. You know what, actually, I will use this a little bit. You'll see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to blend it, so that's why it's kind of weird right now. Okay, so, gotta be really careful. I don't wanna get anything on TV, for sure. But I'll go ahead and get my black refill out, because I'm sure I'm gonna need that. And then I need one and three for my grays. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and get three first. I actually really enjoyed this challenge this year. It's a lot of work, but I feel like I learned some more stuff about musculature on guys and things like that. So that's that's always fun. Just <laughs> got to draw with Churl and right off being cute. Guys, also a major plush. Alright, plush.
trying to make it look like, you know. put it away backwards. All right, let's go ahead and refill one now. And that should be all for the gray of them. Close this last little part to do, and then I'll do the blacks. I might actually finish this before I want to get it. better now. I'm just blending them together. Hi, Kana. Oh, Kana's talking to me. I don't know why, but... Can you get up there? Do you need help getting your bed? You got it, Kana? <gasps> Good girl. She literally stopped me out me. I was like, okay. Really? I just refilled this. Did I really do that bad? Apparently. Yabba! Car noises outside always make me nervous. Okay, we'll go ahead and try that. What I wanted to do and what is actually happening are completely different.
like different colors. Okay, cool. So it's all for the gray. Probably clean it up a bit in Photoshop anyway. So there's not too much black in this one. Well, I mean, I guess there is, but we're facing different angles, so that helps. to make that butt cheek stand out, right? not actually on at 8 a.m. Surprise, huh? No, I had to take care of some other stuff when I first got up, so. I really didn't need refilling, I guess. Just felt like it did. Hi, Kana. Yeah, you're a good girl. I'll pet you in a little bit. Yeah, I actually uh, didn't get, like I said, I didn't get on right away, so. I actually did some stuff with the archive things and then packed some Akiba cell orders. And I'm in my Halloween costume, so that took some time. And I wasn't gonna stream this, but I was like, eh, still got time until my first event starts, so. That I have to be active for, so I figured. I can do a little streaming till about 11.30. If I'm not done, I'll just, you know, finish it later, but I actually think I might be done by then. Of 
or at least close enough to done. Considering I am legit just adding the black to this means I'm pretty much near the end anyways. I do this stuff right near the end. I will say, it's been so long since I've worn contacts. So, doing this work with contacts is weird. My eyes keep switch slipping. Slipping? Yeah, slipping. Uh, well, that seems like a good idea. Which game did you play? Alien Isolation. I don't know too much about that one. Pretty sure my white pen's out here somewhere already. Yep. You either, and you're playing it. Oh, okay. Well, let me know how it is. If it's super scary, let me know too, because I like watching too much long screen. Alright, and I think that's a wrap. Yes, I made it in time, yay! Okay, so, there you go. Last day was adventure. Yay, adventure. Okay, cool. So, like I said, there will be some live streams today, uh, later today, but they will be a little different as they are going to be Archive of Sinners events. So, you will actually see me, for one thing. And um, it's going to be just a lot of chit chatting and stuff. So uh, check out the Archive of Sinners event on Facebook. Uh, look Sanzaki Kojika author up and it has the event page listed there. Plus I've been spamming it on some of my other pages. Um, starting next week, I well, you know, starting November. So tomorrow I will be on a schedule where I am only streaming for sure on Tuesdays and then once every Saturday. Or what, <laughs> once one Saturday a month, I'll be doing a karaoke stream. I'll be switching off between art and video games on the other streams, maybe even some cosplay work. Um, I will probably add 
do some other random streams in there as well. They just won't be scheduled, so they might pop up. Trying, it was too hard to, I just, I can't say I'm doing, for sure doing more than one stream a week because I just have so much going on. So I figured I'll start out small and we'll see where we go from there. Oh, that game sounds, sounds interesting. I'll have to look it up though. All right. Thank you guys for coming and hopefully you guys show up at the Archive of Sinners event. Ciao.